stronger ground in terms of our negotiations with, with our counterparts. I think this is a wonderful new opportunity for Africa. Honorable Minister, the conference, the summit has just ended. Yes. Your take? Well, this has been a very successful uh, uh, summit, and it's probably going to be one of the most powerful international intergovernmental organizations, bring, bringing the, bringing the, um, the, 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 the two worlds together, most vibrant nations together. The Africans and the Arabs together. These are very, very vibrant nations, bringing them together. And the, the, the stakes are high. The chances are huge. But you know, the, that is why the, the president made a very concrete proposal, that this organization is too important to leave its management, coordination, and supervision only to the existing structures of the two commissions, the Dutch African Commission, and Secretary and the Secretary of the Arab League. It's too big for that. So what's the idea? And the idea is to establish a permanent secretariat. Permanent secretariat with the Secretary General or whatever name title give, with few people who are staff who will exclusively focus on the coordination and the function of the organization. That is very important. Another concrete purpose, because you know, all these organizations will not achieve, will not achieve anything in the absence of funding. The funding aspect is, is very important. And people have been, uh, there's what we call donor fatigue. For a long time, we are relying on donors. And that is why His Excellency gives the proposal that each country should be contributing a particular percentage of its external export. 10%, 5% is up to you. And look at how many African countries, how many Arab countries, and look at the huge resources between that, 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 that are flowing within these countries. So if each country contributes at least 5% or, or 10% of its uh, GDP, no, 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 the export, external export, then you know that will, that will constitute a, a vast pool of resources for this new organization. Then the organization will not need to be begging. So you see, it will be financially fine. Human resource wise, you cannot talk about that. Minister, one final question. Initially, people were of the impression that not much comes from the Arab world in terms of development aid. When it is compared to the West, it is also a drop in the ocean. No, no, there Perhaps that perception will change with no, new exactly. attitudes and new approaches yes. to yeah, in development. Fact, in fact, that perception is not true, precisely it's true. Not true. You, know, you, you, you could hear from the speeches of many presidents. Uh, they were full of places for the state of Kuwait for continuing to support African development in various countries, regardless of religion, regardless of culture, regardless of ge geographical identity. Yesterday, many African countries had special meetings with the Amir of Kuwait. So that's a misrepresentation? Of course it's a misrepresentation. The Arab, the, um, the, 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 the Saudi fund, the Kuwait fund, the Kuwait government, the Saudi government, the Arab Bank for Co Co Development in Africa, there are many, there are many com actors that are contributing hugely to African development. Maybe what Africans were not doing, probably it is as a result of colonial influence that Africans tend, tend to focus more on the, on the West, leaving behind potential, potential allies, leaving behind huge opportunities. But now that such an organization has come, and look at the first time, that, the first summit of this Arab-African partnership, almost 30 years. 30 years ago, in and Egypt. And Egypt. Then three years ago, uh, ago, the second came, and that is why the president is saying that we should be having more frequent meetings. Even once every three years is too long. The the, the potentials are too much. So maybe after every two years, with a permanent secretary and with proper coordination, the organisation will be able to achieve its objective. The third Arab Afro Summit ended Wednesday in Kuwait City. 
on a more positive note. But it takes more than meetings and commitments on paper. There is no doubt the leaders went in with a palpable sense of seriousness. And when they emerged, optimism was equally palpable. But whether the actions and decisions reached here in Kuwait translate into tangible action to improve the lot of the 1.2 billion people remains a matter for time, and only time alone. Quality Bumo Andala, Bobo de Souvenir Pentour, Bayako Befana Chiwaka Sunukere, Wasuil Pentour, Ken Doti Warente Sen Guarantee, Accent Quality, the Holleco, the Hosset and the Duko Younger, Wallace and Glazuric Pentour Binga Hamnetama, No Chiwata Axi Oil, Mun Limui de Flol, Nidi Wasunuker, Ken Dotula de Senimbir, Sen Building Material B, Yomi Sampo Onga Waja Sampa, Dohan Tul Bechamaka. Sa suñu kër sa aajo faju sen peinture bi nga xamné moy oil bi bax ci li di wéñ yi li di bantay yi ak wol yi ak fi nga xamné rek moy lepp lo xamné laaj na peinture yeen wa kër suñu kër yene tawta yene chat yeen rek be faw Qsus 4G internet service is the Gambia's fastest and cheapest 4G fixed wireless internet with Qsus 4G you can access the internet at unbeatable speeds on your laptop or desktop computer. You can also use your mobile or tablet to browse the internet via Wi-Fi. QCell's 4G internet can keep you connected either in your home or in your office. For a limited time, get 50% off regular equipment and 100% off corporate equipment, as well as free installation and free QCell credit. For more information, call 333-3253 or 333-3104. QCell 4G internet. Fast, affordable, and reliable. QCell, Sunny Bus, the Gambia's quality network.
Sen tu iyi. 